What's up everybody? Jonathan back here with some more American Truck Simulator. Okay, so I think we left off last time in Hallbrook, Arizona. And I don't believe I did anything else since then. So let's take a look at the uh, freight market here and see what we got. Actually, no, it looks like we're, we're in Prim. Oh, I must have, I think I must have uh, gone back from Hallbrook. We hauled some cars over here to Hallbrook. I think I took a load back over towards... Uh, Prim or Las Vegas area somewhere one I, th I think is what happened but yeah, maybe I did make one more run all right well let's look at Prim then let's see what we got uh, it's like the closest thing we got is empty pallets we're going through California I don't like California and that one's also through California so let's see let's get back up here to Las Vegas should be a lot of stuff here um, there's a fairly short one we've already done cars let's do something else uh, what about this uh, well, that's down to California too. Hmm. Well, that's a long one there. I've only got about thirty to forty-five minutes today, so I don't know if I want to. Uh, well, that's a short little run right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really want to go too long. Well, that one might work. It's only twelve thousand dollars, but man, I tell you what, let's let's try uh, over here in Kingman, see what they got over here. Well, we got some heavy haul. That's the same route we just took. Uh, lift truck chassis. That's also the. I'm trying to find somewhere where we haven't been yet. That's a little short. Let's see, toys, toys up to Page, Arizona. I'll see FedEx. I'm trying to find something also that's a little different. That's way too long. That's that's a good price. I mean, you know, good price. But I'll tell you, uh, let's see. Is that a heavy? Yes, yeah, that's, that's 94,500 94, pounds. That's, that's probably one of those uh, heavier haul ones. I'm not even sure if our truck will be able to handle that very well. Let's see how far is that? It doesn't say how far it is. I tell you what, let's go ahead and do this bulldozer load, and if we don't make it all the way up there by uh, 30 to 45 minutes of game time, then we'll just uh, probably stop off here and either whatever that city is or Eli, Nevada. Let's see, we have, I don't even know if I've been up to Elko, Nevada. So let's let's take this one anyway, and this we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I forgot to plug in my little side panel where I've got some toggle switches and some buttons over here, so I'm going to have to get that going because uh, it's a lot easier to play with that. All right. Get our truck fired up. And we got to go, uh, go collect our uh, trailer, first of all. Yeah, I had uh, I had forgotten about that. Uh, over at Hallbrook, I picked up a Walmart trailer and took it over here to uh, uh, Prim. Just trying to do a little bit more off camera to get our uh, level built up a little bit so we can get some different trucks and stuff. And I, I, re I realized uh, just a little while ago as I was making my mods list, uh, that was a pretty good bump there. Uh, yeah, if you click in the video description below, you'll see the mods list, and uh, I uh, up updated that with all the mods I'm using. I, I believe all of the mods that I have are um, in the Steam Workshop. I'm not doing anything that's outside of that. I've, some of those things are kind of hard to uh, get installed, so I just decided not to go with... Uh, 
anything that's not on the Steam Workshop. The one, only one thing I do have to do, which I realized this afternoon, was uh, I've got to get the Peterbilt 389 mod by Viper 2 in there. I, I realized I had clicked on one that said uh, the 389, but that was just the sounds. It wasn't the actual mod itself. I did adjust my sensitivity for the steering just a little bit, but it still seems to be kind of, um, still kind of sensitive. This truck, this uh, steering wheel I've got is really sensitive to any kind of steering input, so I may have to just bump it all the way down to nothing. And I was trying to decide what game I wanted to play today uh, to record for, uh, let's see, this is going to be Wednesday, June the 19th, yeah, Wednesday, June the 19th, or July the 19th, excuse me, and uh, so I, I, I thought, well, I was, might do some spin tires, but I just didn't really feel like playing spin tires, and I really want to get this uh, truck built up just a little bit and uh, get us a better truck, so I went ahead and decided to play some, spin, uh, some uh, American Truck Simulator. Good thing nothing was coming. <laughs> uh, didn't mean to go that far out in traffic. Yeah, I need to review the uh, Steam Workshop. Uh, mods again too and see if there's anything else I need to add to this. Uh, I have um, the uh, Jazzy Cats traffic pack. I don't have the one that's the classic cars. I want to get that one added in. It has a little bit of different ones. And then there's some other AI traffic stuff I think that's on there I need to add in. So I need to look at that again a little bit later. And I did find in here where you can uh, turn on the, the blink of the turn signal, the blinkers, and uh, it'll automatically turn off. So I just clicked it right there, and I'm just going to go ahead and make this turn. And once the steering wheel centers back up, it should turn off. Yep, there it went. See, I, I didn't touch a thing, uh, except for that curb. It's a limousine. That's yeah, kind of nice because sometimes uh, when you're merging in the traffic or whatever, or making a turn, then you just forget to uh, turn that blinker off. Well, go ahead there, Mr. Cement Truck and Mr. Car. Yeah, just y'all just go ahead right on ahead. I wasn't trying to turn there or anything. Rain again. Wow. Okay. 
think I do still have my lights on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you don't have your he uh, windshield or headlights on when your windshield wipers are on, they'll bust you. You get a violation. In fact, here comes a cop right behind me. Get around that truck, then I'll get over. Yeah, these speed limits are pretty crazy. Uh, right there it just went from 70 to 80 back to 75. <laughs> In a short in just about a few seconds. Well, I didn't know it was quite this far to go get this trailer, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, that mod right there, uh, we just that truck we just passed was a log trailer mod that I'm using in the game. I haven't hauled any yet, but uh, I want to, but I haven't haven't seen them in the job market yet. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it all the way this video up to uh, northern Arizona. We, we've gone this far and we haven't got a trailer yet. <laughs> like I said, we'll go up to uh, one of them little towns that was in between our destination and probably stop there. We're going to have to stop and uh, get some rest anyway and probably some fuel too. Well, for those of you that are uh, fans of my Farming Simulator 17 videos, uh, a little bit of update on that. I have played just a little bit more. Uh, I think I played, yeah, yesterday I played some. Uh, or maybe it was Saturday. You know, today I'm recording this on Monday, uh, July 17th. Okay, bypass the station. I, well, we don't have a trailer, so I guess. Yeah, that'll help. But uh, anyway, so I, I did play a little bit to get caught back up some on uh, the, the Ridgecrest map. And so I've, I've just about got caught up. Uh, uh, I'll explain it in my video, but uh, I uh, moved my operation over to near the uh, sawmill, which is going to help a lot with, uh, um, you know, getting the uh, wood chips delivered a lot faster, although it's a kind of a pain because it's such a small area right there and it's hard to get maneuvered around but I'm, I'm working it out so and I should be doing another uh, farming simulator video here pretty soon let's see this one's gonna air on Wednesday so probably maybe hope, hopefully for Friday I'll do some ridge crests and then I'm gonna have to keep working at uh, Pacific Inlet because we you know we lost a month of uh, work on that one And I think what I'm going to do to help out with the video length is I'm going to speed this part of it up and, and then when we get to the um, pick up our trailer, I'll pick back up to normal speed and, and have some voiceover and stuff there. So enjoy the little high speed trip left that's left to go get our trailer and then when we come back we'll be ready to go.
All right, well, we got our trailer hooked up with our dozer on it. Just Caterpillar, uh, let's see if I can see what's... Uh, Caterpillar D7, okay. That's a pretty good sized dozer there. All right, we're head ready to head off to, uh, let's see, where are we going? That's up in northern Arizona somewhere. Or northern, northern Nevada, excuse me. All right, well, let's uh, hop on back inside and let's get going. There is a gas station just to our left back there, but I think I'm just going to keep on going. And then um, probably the next decent rest stop we find that has a gas station, I'll stop there and get some fuel and then probably give our driver some rest because he's not going to be able to make it far. <laughs> oh, look, there's that Coca-Cola mod I put in the trailer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. See, is there a red light here? No, I guess not. Oh, I hate these intersections where there's no red light. Okay, looks well, like we got a got an opening here. Yeah, that's really nice not having to worry too much about the blinker. Yeah, it's funny how, you know, when you when you play this game and you start actually getting out on the road on the interstates and highways and stuff, you start noticing things about trucks that you didn't before and and well in traffic too, but trucks mostly. Yeah, there's a rest stop coming up right up here. I wonder if I shouldn't speed and oh, good grief! Um, I wonder if I shouldn't just go ahead and pull in here and rest because we got half a tank of fuel, and the rest area is just. I think I'm going to because it's just too good of an opportunity to pass up. Because just as soon as we hit the road, he's going to want to rest. Rain again. Kid, you're kidding me. This is Nevada. This doesn't rain that much out there. Wow. I don't think I've ever played the game in its rain this much.
You know, I, was, uh, I think last video I recorded, I was mentioning the fact that whenever the game updates, it resets all the roads you've driven. And I don't know, I guess I can understand that to a degree, but I would almost like to have it to where when it does update, it doesn't uh, lose all your roads you've driven because if they update with new roads or change, make changes or whatever, why can't they just take that file where you've driven and you know apply it to the new update so you don't lose your progress on the roads driven because every time it updates it resets you back to zero I think well I mean, it, it keeps track of how many miles you've driven but the specific roads on the map you've driven it doesn't keep those so it starts you all over there I don't know Well, I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but my Xbox One died. <laughs> it won't even uh, power up. So the uh, little power brick thing that plugs in the wall is gone. i got to get another one of those. Not that I really played all that much, but I do like my racing games. I got uh, Forza Horizon 3, then I got Forza Motorsport 6. And I want to get Forza Motorsport 7 if it'll work on the Xbox One. Uh, when it comes out, I don't think I want to upgrade to the newest console just yet. Right about the time I switched lanes to pass these cars, we hit a big old hill. <laughs> well, at least the rain's quit. it when they put those uh, barriers right up against the uh, yellow line over there. In real life too, I don't like that. Makes me nervous. It's one little slip and you're in those barriers. Ooh, that's curvy. Yikes. Oh, I hit the hit the barrier. Yep, that's what I was talking about. Plus with this uh, try I got going too fast right there. And I better get over because we'll be taking a ride up here pretty soon. Yeah, this is definitely a very cool game. I mean, I've I've really enjoyed playing this. Because, I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to actually drive a real big truck. Uh, I mean, not for a living, anyway. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. I've always looked up to these uh, big trucks and thought they were really cool. Maybe these two lanes will turn left. We're nearly midnight anyway, so we much traffic on the road. Uh oh, here comes a car. Just as I say, that car comes up behind me. Two cars. <coughs> well, they're stopping, so that's good. 
think I'm going to pull over just a little bit so they can't get past me. Yeah, a lot of traffic from midnight. Of course, I guess this is Las Vegas. And I'm going to hit this hole. Come on, oh, red light violation. You kidding me? That light was green. Oh, well. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't bust me good. <laughs> I went over the line just a little bit there. Yeah, I've got the braking sensitivity turned way down uh, just so it feels a bit, bit more realistic with the truck having to take a while to stop and all that. Because uh, I had it up a bit higher and it just didn't feel right to me, so I turned it down. Well, this is a few days late but uh, last uh, let's see yeah last night because today is Monday I uh, watched the season 7 Game of Thrones uh, first episode the premiere episode that was really good uh, if you have seen it or have not seen it yet then the uh, and and uh, not to give anything away but uh, the first opening scene of the show uh, really threw me for a loop uh, I kind of caught on to what was going on but then it uh, definitely um, caught me by surprise, I guess we'll say. But yeah, I thought the episode was, you know, overall really good. It was uh, good to start off the season with. I think they can build on a lot of that from, from there. I don't really know, you know, what kind of expectations to have for this season, but I'm really looking forward to it nonetheless. It's been one of my favorite shows, uh, that and The Walking Dead. Of course, Walking Dead, I don't know, it's kind of, I still like it. I'm going to watch it no matter what, I guess, but unless they do something really drastic. But what is this? Oh, it's some kind of advertisement. But... Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I think Walking Dead's kind of lost their direction slightly. And I feel like some characters that they've added weren't necessary, and some parts they left out were necessary. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm, I'm one of those purists that, you know, if the book's written that way, then you need to follow the book because the author had intended to be that way. Now, some things obviously you can't show on TV, but. Uh, even HBO, or no, AMC, AMC is, you know, well, that HBO too, I guess, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I think Walking Dead here recently, it's, it's started to take a drastic kind of deviation, in my opinion, from the book, I mean, I, I wish it would have been done differently, but it is what it is, still good, I like it, it's different, you just have to kind of realize that, hey, it's not going to be exactly like the comic books, and kind of go with it from there but the addition of Daryl I think was a good good play on their part um, the the parts where uh, they were getting ready to attack the uh, saviors which I don't yeah they haven't attacked them yet but they they're starting to build troops up at that point and they, if you remember they uh, met up with some folks that lived basically in a 
junkyard or something and those were really weird folks I don't think that was absolutely necessary they could have left that part out for me I know it's you know other factions out there probably but I just think that, that was a strange addition the the leader of that that woman the leader with the weird hair talked funny you know she, that, that I don't think that was necessary I don't I didn't care for that at all but uh, I think you know overall it's it's still pretty good for me I'll definitely check it out this fall when it comes back but right now it's all about Game of Thrones that and whatever Netflix adds <laughs> uh, the Netflix has been pretty much killing it with the Marvel stuff lately the uh, Luke Cage and um, I, yeah I really enjoyed Luke Cage and the Iron Fist wasn't all that great I thought it was just okay and uh, Jessica Jones I started watching that just a little bit and I couldn't really get much into it so I stopped watching it but and then uh, Daredevil that was really good I'm looking forward to Punisher when it finally comes out so a lot of good stuff on Netflix as far as the Marvel Universe is concerned. I didn't watch, uh, I think uh, the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I believe is on Netflix. I, I watched the first, first couple of seasons maybe of that and that was okay. Then I think it kind of started tanking. But then I've heard it's come back up so I need to watch it again. And then uh, of course this fall waiting for... Uh, Gotham to come back on TV. I like watching that. You know, Batman origin story basically. Young Bruce Wayne's starting to, you know, lean towards becoming Batman. I like I like watching that whole series. So yeah, there's, there's a few things this fall I'm looking forward to. And then of course, um, in December, can't wait for the new Star Wars movie seems like those things take forever but then they eventually roll around and get there but but I haven't been watching too much TV here lately like I said just Game of Thrones is new I've been watched that last night and all day Saturday we sat around watching season six of Game of Thrones to kind of get caught back up to what had happened in the previous season just to have a refresher I didn't get to finish it we watched uh, I think eight episodes of the ten but yeah I didn't get to finish it but I, I pretty well had an idea after that point of what all was going on there's just so much that happens in that show that it's, it's hard to remember it all Like I had even forgotten why the young boy king at the end of season six uh, jumped off the window. I had forgotten about that, what had actually happened. And then my wife real, uh, reminded me that, you know, hey, the, his queen had been blown up in the septum or sept septum or whatever it's called. Queen Cersei blew him up. All right, well, I hope there's a gas station up ahead somewhere because we're quickly running out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's just I said that. Look, look, look what popped up. Good, well, we need to be making a stop right here. Okay, well I'm going to stop the video here just in about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. 
So let's uh, get us on up the road a little ways, and then we'll stop it right there. We ho hopefully we'll have a good place to pull over and stop. And Because uh, I've, I've got to uh, get busy with some other stuff here, but just don't have... Oh, let's look. Wendy's. Yeah. I don't see a Wendy's, but there's a Wendy's sign. Yeah, but we'll get on up the road here just a little bit, get us a little further along, and I've, I've got maybe another 10, 15 minutes or so. But yeah, I was starting to get a little worried there about getting some fuel. not really sure how this truck is going to handle some heavy cargo. Uh, what I was planning on doing was uh, getting that Peterbilt 389 mod installed and getting that truck worked up and then uh, you know outfit it with maybe even the four axles, three in the back and of course one up front, but then we could have a nice truck there for hauling some heavy cargo. But first of all, we've got to get some money built back up. I uh, went ahead and paid off the loan that I had uh, when I bought, was it this truck, I think? Yeah, I think I bought this truck. Or maybe, no, I know what it was. Uh, I had the Peterbilt 379 mod, and when I lost the game save, then I lost that truck. And so they basically just said, here, here's this little day cab. And uh, so I've been running this one, but... But, uh, yeah, so I'll need to get some money built back up so we can buy that. I want to get the 389 mod installed and get it built up as our work truck. It'll be our big workhorse. We'll have uh, heavy cargo and probably make some other other runs. I don't know. It, I'm, I, I kind of like the other Peter belt I have because I could do the heavy cargo stuff and do the regular hauls, but... I think I'd want to build up just a dedicated heavy haul truck. That'd be fun. Well, not much traffic up here, and I don't really dare speed too much either. Number one, the road's kind of curvy. Number two, you never know when them cops are going to pop up. <laughs> they just pop in the game, and all of a sudden you got a speeding ticket. I don't much care for that either. I wish they would uh, have a bit more realistic, like, uh, you know, cops do drive down the road, of course, but it'd be kind of neat, though, if they had a cop just sitting over there on the side of the road busting people like they do <laughs> in the medians or something in the highways. All right, we're coming up to something here. Oh yeah, this is that town I couldn't pronounce, uh, Pioche or whatever it's called. why I had to go through the town. Why couldn't I just keep going around? See, I, th I think that's another little bug in the, the software right now is sometimes they make you exit the interstates without having to. I mean, you just have to exit and get right back on. And situations like this where I, I didn't know that the road continued, I would have just kept on going, but they detoured me through the town for some reason. This is, this is weird. All right, well, I think what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead on up here to Eli and let's stop. And then uh, that'll be the video for this time. And then we'll pick up right where we were last time and make that final delivery.
Well, there is absolutely no traffic on the road. Of course, we're in the middle of the desert in the middle of nowhere and 3.40 in the morning. But usually the game has a little bit of traffic. Yeah, there's one car. You know, I'm wondering about all these uh, billboards and stuff over here with uh, Chick-fil-A and Napa and all that stuff. I wonder if they know that that's in this game, if they're not getting a cut off of some of the... Oh, here, here we go. Here's another truck. Because uh, that's... I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure how this works. I mean, it, it could be a mod that's in there. But I wonder if they know that that's in there in the game and, and are not upset about that because... I don't know. I mean, I, I would almost see, I could almost see where uh, the companies would want their names in there and to pay to have them there. Might help the game out a little bit. Might uh, give the, uh, the game manufacturers a bit more money to operate with if uh, they actually had sponsors, you know, the, or ad paid advertising in the game. But I, I think that these billboards are probably just a mod or something that I've added that's that adds those in there. Oh, I passed up that rest area. I thought that was a little further on down the road. And just as soon as I got up to speed, we're back down to 30 miles an hour. Okay, well here's Eli, and looks like uh, there may be a place up here to pull over, we'll see. Oh, here's a, here's a motel, but can I pull in there? I don't think. Yeah, I better not pull in there, I won't have anywhere to turn around. This looks like a pretty good spot. We'll just pull right in here. Yep, yeah, this will work. Okay, well we're just gonna stop right here and then the next video we'll pick up right here, right here where we left off and uh, make make the delivery up on to, uh, let's see, where in the world are we going? Uh, let's see if I can get it pulled up here. Uh, Elko, Elko, Nevada, Beezer Homes, and uh, we got uh, ten hours and eight minutes to get there, so we should have no problems. But uh, anyway, we'll just stop here and let's look at the map and see. Well, that's pretty good ways. It's not even showing our final destination yet. Anyway, this is gonna do it for this video, and uh, we'll pick right, up right here next time where we left off here. Uh, in the next video, we'll pick right up. And uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, and we'll see you next time when we make our delivery finally with this bulldozer.
We'll see you next time.